Welcome to one of the vacation logs from VDE. Yeah, Victor and I were on vacation recently and I got a present from him, a bag of logs, and that's one of those. I picked it three times before and I have to say that this is a really good pick. Although um, this is a stock log, as Victor told me, I believe it's full of security pins. And we can look at the back of the lock and see a serrated pin already. I don't have a key, so I cannot show you the bidding, but I can hopefully show you an opening and then we will look inside and inspect the pins. So here's the lock clamped in a vise. I use a 1.3 mm pry bar from Peterson on the pin side to tension the plug and turn the plug counterclockwise. And I use a Peterson DeForest in 18 thousandths to pick the pins. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, one is the first binder. Click, then I'm on four or five. With some crunchy clicks and I felt a little give on the plug and nothing more. Maybe that was an overset, so I release tension a little bit. Yeah, that was an overset. This lock really oversets easily. Oh, very good. That was four, I believe, and we've dropped into a nice deep four set. That's two, giving counter rotation. I think I got it, but lost the full set. Got it back from pin ah, five, I think. So, yeah, two is set now. That's good. But there should be another spool. Around here. Could be four. It starts moving, but then, then it stops. Hmm. One, two, it's again two. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Turns back nicely. I support the back rotation a little bit. I think I got it, but Lost the full set again, maintaining good tension, not to lose everything. Hope to get my full set back. Yeah. I think I've overset it, so I release tension. Yeah. Now, four or whatever it was, was binding and I got my full set back. So, now we've got counter rotation from three uh, or similar. Okay, got it. Lost the full set, same game as before. Full set is back. Try it again. Good counter rotation here. Try to carefully set the spool. Maybe it wasn't set all the way. Give it another touch. I right, got my full set back at least. Rotation again. And it's open. Yeah, that was a nice fight. Haha. <laughs> Victor, thank you very much for sending this lock to me. Now let's look what's inside. Pretty curious. So okay, I don't have a key, so I cannot lock it back up, I turn it like this, 
just get off this back ring here. Usually there is a spring, or it's attached to the retaining pin. So we've got the pinning tray here. I need a follower. So here we go. Pins are pointing upwards. Everything should be fine. Okay, here's the plug. All six chambers are populated and we can see pretty good bidding with a long key pin in one and three and five and the other ones are very short. Okay, let's look at them. One is a standard, two is a standard, three is a standard, four is a standard, five is a serrated and six is a serrated. Um, let's check the plug, round plug, very smooth, nothing special. Nice. So, we look at the pins really close when the drivers are out. Uh -huh. One is uh, serrated, but with the serrations towards the spring. Very interesting. We've got a spool in two. Oops. We've got a T-pin in three. We've got a spool. No, it's a... Yeah, it's kind of spool. I think it's a mushroom driver, mushroom spool, in four, then we've got a standard in five, and come out, so, I've got a serrated in six. We have, ah, let's check if they are steel, no, ah, that's a kind of alloy that attracts a magnet or that is attracted by a magnet. Same here. So they are made from different material. Okay, that's it. Yeah, with different key pins and these are all standard one through four. Then we have, well, this is not stuck. This is a homemade serrated key pin, I would say. And we've got a commercial serrated driver as sixth pin in the key pin position. Ah. So then we have a serrated driver in one but upside down. I would have expected the serrations to be closer to or at the shear line not towards the spring. We have a spool in two. Might have been flipped over but um, doesn't matter actually. Both sides are uh, spoolish, so to say. Then we've got a T-pin in three, a mushroom spool in four, a standard in five, and a serrated in six, this time right side uh, correctly oriented. The plug, uh, the housing, or the Bible, not nothing special, so no modifications here. Well, I would not say that this is stock, but it's very close to stock, maybe. Oh, these are uh, maybe stock pins. Anyhow, uh, it was great fun for me to pick this lock. Um, Victor, <laughs> thank you very much for giving me this interesting and enjoyable lock. And everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.